All right, everybody, it's time for another Good Luck High Five box opening. We are here with our Strixhaven School of Mages box, and we are playing we are playing some Are You Smarter Than a Sixth Grader? Yeah, thank you to Card Kingdom for supplying us with this box. You yes. can check them out at cardkingdom.com slash GLHF. They'll get you whatever you want. Super fast shipping. Yeah. Awesome people. So great. Use our affiliate code and you even get a free sticker or token in your order. That's right. If you say good luck high five. So that's pretty cool. And thank you to the nostalgia of childhood yes. for these brain quests. So, Megan, how is this going to work? All right. So, we've got our Good Luck High Five board games guy, Nicholas, here. Yes. And he's going to be using these brain quests to ask questions. Yeah. We've got buzzers to buzz in with the answer. <laughs> Uh, and if whoever gets one right, we'll get to crack a pack. All right, so we'll we'll just you know see how many we can get right and how many packs we can crack each. I'm I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> I wonder how hard these questions are gonna be. I'm I'm honestly afraid of like looking like <laughs> a real idiot. Well, but look, hey, sometimes you learn things in sixth grade that you honestly don't need for life, and you delete them from your brain. Absolutely. But kids, school's important. Yeah, kids, stay in school. Sixth grade matters. Very much. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, we'll start out with a uh, with a very easy question. This is history and civics. In 1588, the Spanish Armada attacked the English fleet. Who won the battle? Oh. Uh, that would be Maria. The English. The English is correct. <laughs> So this is like Queen Elizabeth's like great victory yeah. is winning this battle. But I've lear since learned that it really was like not really at, like due to her. It was like horrible weather or something. I can't remember all the details of it. It was it, just but like a storm. It just like, yeah. She's like, she la leaned on that victory for years and years and years. I mean, and like, you know, you would. But like, you know. Ooh, Ooh Quandrix command. command. Oh, a gorgeous lightning, lightning bolt. bolt. So good. Oh, that's awesome. So good. Great. All right. Okay, nice. <laughs> Off to a good start. I yeah, feel like you are. I'm back in knowledge bowl. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I need to get quicker on the buzzer. All right, you do. Here we go. Question number, and you don't have to wait for the sentence to be complete before you buzz in. Ooh, if you know okay. 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 All right. If uh, This is a science question. If something smells rotten, is it an example of empirical or testimonial evidence? You do have to buzz in <laughs> at some point, though. Megan. Testimonial. Incorrect. <laughs> no! Maria. I'd like to steal with empirical. Empirical is you correct. You shouldn't be able to steal <laughs> with an either or. <laughs> You did you not, were. it did not say, I think, or I tell you that something smells rotten. Oh. The thing actually does smell oh. rotten. Oh. Interesting. Wow. We're all learning something here. There's a <laughs> flunk. Ooh, culmination of studies. <gasps> Natural, Natural order. order. Wow. Oh, that looks so cool. cool. I haven't seen this mystical archive version yet. It's gorgeous. Wow. I like it. Wow. Oh. Great. Well, I'm thoroughly embarrassed already, and we're only on back two. <laughs> All right, question three is a question of geography. Oh, boy. Is a meridian a line of latitude or a line of longitude? Megan? Longitude. It is a line of longitude. <laughs> That's correct. Wow, good catch. Ooh, all right. <laughs> We're back in it. We're that back in it. That catch was good. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, campus. Square up. Blood researcher. Love this card. Guiding Great. voice, waterfall aerialist, tome shredder, Bayou Groff, professor's warning, environmental sciences. You need also. one. You need one. Grinning Ignis, Silver Quill Apprentice, Kelpie Guide, Conspiracy Theorist. Love that card. Ooh, cultivate. cultivate. Great. Ooh, you and got I have a foil. foil. A reckless amplomancer. Nice. Awesome. And we learned something about meridians. <laughs> Longitude. I would have said longitude. long because they're like this, lat because of fat. That's how I remembered it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you remember because latitude is like a ladder. Wait, no. Latitude is like this. Oh. So longitude, longitude is, is like around? This. Are we sure about this? Nope. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> longitude is north to south, and yeah. latitude is east to west, okay. like a ladder. You climb latitude like a ladder. Uh, this does not make sense how, to me, but okay. Do you know well, how a ladder works? I think that we're getting more confused the more we try and explain it to each other. All right, this is a question for, uh, this is an English question oh. and a chance for Megan to even the score. I'm embarrassed that I spelled a word wrong in this sentence. Which one? <laughs> Maria. Embarrassed. Is correct. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, we can't even see it. I know, that's the best part. So Maria, <laughs> just guessed a word in the sentence. I mean, the chances were it was either embarrassed or sentence. That's so correct. That seems right. to be the only. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Is twin Skull Shaman. We got a Karak, a Pest Ooh, Summoning. Pest Summoning. Ooh, Shadowing Laureate, Symmetry Sage, Spell Satchel, Wither Bloom Ooh, Command. Two now. That's pretty sweet. And look at this God's Willing. Are you Great. kidding me? Great stuff. Uh, and just a good card, yeah. generally. All right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, this is another math question. Oh no. How many centimeters make ten meters? Megan. Hold on just a second. You have three seconds. Okay, a thousand. That is correct. A thousand is right. I would have said 10,000 for nope. sure. A centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter. Oh, yes. okay. Wow. All right. Excellent knowledge point. <laughs> Ooh, Witherbloom Campus cram session. That's Elemental what we need right now. Yeah. Lash of Malice. Illustrious historian, love it. Field trip, really love it. <laughs> Inkling summoning, great. Quandrix apprentice, ardent dust speaker, symmetry sage, selfless glyph weaver, which is also deadly vanity. Oh yeah, plus revitalize. Yeah. Love it. Great. Love it. All right, teach hit us. All right, here we go. This is a history and civics question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who was the inventor of the cotton gin? <laughs> Oh. Maria. Eli Whitney. Is correct. <laughs> <laughs> God, you hit my microphone. <laughs> Gonna make a good sound effect when that hits there. <laughs> oh, Lorehold Pledge Mage. We got two Pledge Mages right off the bat in this pack. Mage Hunters Onslaught Study Break. Take as many as you can get. Love Mages Duel. Mage Hunter. Overgrown Arch, our rarest semester's end. Oh, I love this negate. And look at this negate. So good. Oh, it's probably so the best good. negate. I think so. Yeah. All right. All right. This is, a, this is a science question. If someone has blue eyes, did they receive the recessive gene from one or both parents? Both. Megan? Both. Both is correct. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That's do you how Punnett squares were. I know. Do you remember making Punnett I squares? I loved Punnett they squares. They were so great. Some of the best. Like, that might have been the most fun I ever had in science was doing Punnett squares. It's so I interesting. Think, yeah. You know, genes. One of the coolest parts. Now we can just CRISPR it all away. All right. Oh. What? <laughs> Gene oh. editing. Yeah. Uh, Infuse with Vitality. Eureka Moment. Spined Carrick. Expel. Great. We're gonna expel me if I keep doing this badly. <laughs> With a little We're apprentice. Side. Igneous inspiration. Oh, it's a Cody Maria just Cody! for you. Oh, Cody. And oh, oh, the, the opt. opt. The best opt. The opt. It's so good. Wait, you got something else? Oh yeah, a foil pigment storm. Sick. Nice. All right. Let's oh, go. All okay. right, a, a miscellaneous question. <laughs> I love miscellaneous. If a cat five is mentioned in a weather forecast, is this good news or <laughs> Oh, I should have buzzed in. Bad. It it's is bad, bad news, news. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also the name for a networking cable, but probably not going to be mentioned no, that way in not a weather meant. forecast. <laughs> My favorite part is like a category five hurricanes headed your way, and you're like, oh, that's probably fine. Oh, fine, okay. <laughs> Eureka moment. Um, not a fun story, a bad story, but actually in high school, um, we ended up with a bunch of extra students my junior and or maybe just my senior year because they have people fleeing Hurricane Katrina. Oh, wow. In New Orleans in the aftermath of it. So we ended up with like there were multiple students at our school who you're like, that's a new kid this year. From Hurricane Katrina. Wow, holy cow. Oh. Ooh, intro to Annihilation. Closing statement, great. Great. Dueling coach, practical research, 
Ooh, we got a snarl. Shine, s- shadow snarl. Whirlwind denial. That one's beautiful gorgeous. too. Oh, we yeah, have two foil village rights. Oh, that's great. Nice. Gorgeous. That is amazing. All right. Beautiful. All right, this is an English question. We're going back to the English category. All right. <laughs> if someone talks on and on and on, are they quarrelsome or garrulous? <laughs> Uh, that would be. That, that would first. be. I think that's Maria. <laughs> what? No, it I wasn't. Touched, it yeah. was Megan. All right, Megan. Garrulous. They are garrulous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you. What if we buzz? You have to stop talking immediately. Yeah, you yeah. can't yeah. keep saying Quirrell the question. Or gu- and then and we have to guess like, what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of these words is spelled wrong. Good. What? <laughs> That was the best one. <laughs> how, Nicholas, how did they spell it wrong? Do you remember? Uh, I do remember. They uh, like one, They only had one R. R. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess that they had done the other way. So embarrassing. Decis- Ooh, I just love this, this card. This art is great, too. Honor troll. Ooh, wandering archaic. Have you gotten wrecked by this card in Limited? Yes. Yep. Because everyone play Many it all times. the time. Because it's colorless. Yep. An adventurous impulse. Nice. So pretty. So beauty, beauty. All right, Nicholas. All right, this is an English question, but relevant to my interest in the board game world. Oh. Which word means see ahead of time? Review, preview, or... Uh, <laughs> Megan? Oh, that one was... I feel like you touched it It was first. definitely me, I think. All right, yeah. Maria? Uh, preview. Preview is correct. <laughs> Yay! That's also a really weird question, but okay. <laughs> Oh, look at the back of this. Like That's kind of yeah, cool, by the way. Cool. I haven't ever seen one of those. We got a letter. We got a squad. Uh, combat professor. We got a squad. We got our squad. Uh, Mage Hunters of Onslaught and another study break. Oh, golden ratio. Hello. Professor of Symbology, get in Love the deck. Eye Twitch, get in the deck every time. Ooh, and Magma Open. <laughs> All right. Us. We're playing some historic, Ooh. baby. Yeah, we are. And we've got uh, Eliminate as well, which this is also nice. gorgeous. All right, history and civics. Oh, Maria has mm-hmm. been trouncing me in this area. <laughs> in 1974, was Richard Nixon impeached or did he resign? <laughs> Megan. He resigned. He did <laughs> resign. <laughs> Effective today, I am impeached from the presidency. I think it's what he's known for saying. <laughs> So today, I'm impeached, I'm impeached <laughs> from the presidency. <laughs> How do you like my Nixon? Pretty that was, spot on. Yeah, that was pretty spot on. If you want to see a cameo by Richard Nixon in another one of our videos, oh, yes. you can watch our Time Spiral Remastered <laughs> box opening. These box openings have been fired, just saying. They really have. Also, in sixth grade, would I have known that? I don't think I that don't I would have. So. That's a smart Ooh, sixth Quintorius. grader. Quintorius. Oh, Quintorius. We love you. Ooh, I love Jodzi. I don't think I've ever played with Jodzi. This was in my uh, Tatiova Benthic Druid oh, cool. brawl deck. Nice. Brawl. An agonizing remorse. Great. Great. As Great. a bonus follow-up question, can both of you or one of you name all three of impeached presidents in the United States? There are three. Yes. Uh, Nixon. Nope. I mean, not Nixon. Not Nixon. <laughs> You've already on. failed. Rolling it back. Rolling it back. Roll it back. Donald Trump. Yes. Uh, Andrew Johnson. Yes. And who is the other one? Bill P- Clinton. There you go. Okay. Yes, that was correct. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Dodge a bullet there. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do this one. This is a miscellaneous question. Basketball games have referees. What do baseball games have? Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pump- Pumpires. Pumpires. Oh, man. I wish they were also called referees. <laughs> Man, Maria, I can't even tell you how many basketball highlights I've watched recently. <laughs> but yeah, we talked about this my, on the podcast. My newest thing is watching dunk, dunk compilations. compilations and basketball highlights, and Maria's newest thing is laughing a lot that I do those things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just so funny to me. And, like, uh, I don't know. I knew nothing about basketball, like, literal zero, and now I know 1%, but the 1% is only because I play Magic. Yeah. I would not even know Fair that enough. 1%. And my relative invented basketball. You all, I know who has been recently eliminated from the playoffs and who is continuing on. And even what some of the scores are right now. Wow. Did you know that at least as of the other day, the Nets were up one game over the Bucks? No, I did not. Anyways. Where, where do I think the Nets are from? Where do you think the Nets are from? New York. Oh, you're, you're, you're close. Very, you're like yeah. New Jersey? You're in the right yeah. state. Oh, okay. 
What? They're not the New Jersey Nets? No, they for sure are. <laughs> Oh my god. What is it? New, the new upstate, the upstate the nets. Upstate nets. <laughs> are they the Brook? I think they're Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Oh, they can be from different cities? Yeah. Did you know that LA has two basketball teams? No. There's another one called the Clippers. They also have two the baseball Lakers teams. Lakers have been eliminated from the playoffs, but the Clippers are still in. Well, you Okay, my mind's anyway, being strategic. blown right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where's our rare? What was it? Oh, calling Richard. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Because now I'm like, I thought only states could have teams like hockey. No. We have... I'm trying to... Never mind. All of our ours are Minnesota. Yes, but they are. That's oh. because, like, right... Texas. Dallas has teams. Houston has teams. You're right. I haven't even San thought Antonio about it. San Antonio has teams. Weird. Right? Yeah. Wow, we've all learned something on this episode of Football well. Coffee. <laughs> not all of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going back to English. Okay. This is actually technically a science question, but sort of English. Rearrange the letters in heart to name a planet. <laughs> Maria. <Earth>. Yeah. <laughs> that took way longer than it should have. I was definitely not thinking of Earth as a planet. <laughs> But it is. I was thinking through all the other ones. Right. I mean, like, isn't that funny? Like, it doesn't seem like a planet, you know? I, you know? But, but we're just floating in space, like yeah, the are. chumps that we are, just like the rest <laughs> of the planets out there. We are. We're pretty jumpy. <laughs> uh, all these chumps floating through space. <laughs> like, we're no different than Mars. Ooh, Extus is our rare from this pack. Ooh. And a brainstorm. Talk about our historic deck. Uh. Yeah, man. We're going to need that. Rip Legacy brainstorm. Card. <laughs> Megan thinks Brainstorm is getting banned, I everybody. Do. I do. All right. Let's go. All right. Another science question. Litmus paper can turn one of two colors. <laughs> Megan. I don't even know how many of them I'm supposed to name, but we're going to go with red. <laughs> Incorrect, no! Maria. Wait, do I get to hear the rest you of the question? You do get to hear the whole no! question. What? <laughs> <laughs> Litmus paper can turn one of two colors. What are they? Oh, oh. I have them both. Was red one of them? You, you can't know that. <laughs> Is this, are we not going to have an answer to this question? Okay, uh, white and red? No. Wait, oh. Red and blue. Megan is correct. Oh, I'm I not giving you a pack what? for that. You didn't get it right on the first try. <laughs> that, that's because I thought, okay, that's because I buzzed too early. You buzzed too soon. I only you buzzed too soon. You colors. buzzed too soon. Yeah, that is correct. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, really, that's really fair. shot myself in the foot there. We'll give the viewers <laughs> that point. All right, this is a geographical question. Ooh. Spell the name of the longest river in the United States. Maria. M I S S I S S I P P I. That is correct. <laughs> Yay! The local flavor for local you there. Local flavor, yeah. yeah. Can you swim in the Mississippi? Uh, I you mean, you can, can. But you should. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. Should I? That's but like, if you I go to the headwaters up north in Minnesota, yeah, you, you probably could. Swim okay, there. but like, if I just like walked out of don't my do house it. and it's I was gonna be real gross. Yeah, don't. Do I see it. people doing it all the time, and I'm like. No. Should I do that? Vine Glimmer Snarl. Oh, Beautiful. So pretty. Ooh, Day Ooh, of Judgment. Day of Judgment. Oh, wow. I love it. This is probably going to see more play like as we continue on in Historic, I would imagine. A person can hope. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. What invention... Uh, this is a history and civic question. Okay. What invention is Johannes Gutenberg known... Uh, Megan. The printing press. The printing press. <laughs> That question, that question is actually phrased, did Johannes Gutenberg invent the telescope or the printing press? Oh, but that's too easy. That's yeah. too easy. Um, there was, UT has a Gutenberg Bible. Oh. And they, they like, someone goes in and changes the page, like, turns the pages every so often. So you can go in and look at it and look at a different page. They let a human turn the pages on it? Probably with a I stick. Mean, like, <laughs> Not just a from like a, just a stick just from, like from a tree. <laughs> there you go, you time ungrateful. To, time to turn the, the ancient tradition. <laughs> you must use a tree from oh. the area on whence the Bible sits. Use a limb oh. from the tallest branch. <laughs> Yeah, they do that with like illuminated illuminated Ooh, manuscripts and stuff. I love oh, this card. This card is so, so good. busted. Grape shot. Grape shot. Some of the best art. Yeah, that's excellent. It's so good. Get I really that play, like Matt. Yeah, man. 
Ooh, and a foil <gasps> Prismari command. We are making the Just Guy turn stack yeah, over here. Ooh. That's beautiful. All right. Okay. All right, that was a history and civics question, so let's mix it up with a little bit of science. Okay. Um, is each light year about 600 million? 60 billion or 6 trillion miles. 6 yeah. trillion. That is correct. It is 6 trillion. I was trillion. just like, I'm just going to say the biggest number that I would have gone us. billion. <laughs> very big, very big. Wow. Well, so light years, like we think we get, we yeah. think we got it, you know, we're like, there no big deal, so but many. there's just so many miles. So, so many, far. So far. Hey, have you all been hearing about those UFOs though? I saw one. Megan has seen one. Oh, I think that I just saw one of um, what's his what's his faces, um, little space projects. Elon Musk is yeah. that what you mean? Yep. Oh, because you could see them from here, and we were out at our friend's backyard having a oh. fire at night, and you could see it on the horizon. It was very spooky. To, it was very creepy, actually. I think Anyways. that they're here. The aliens are here, and they're observing us. Professor Onyx! <gasps> Yay, Lilia! Oh. So cool. She's great. I love all so of her cool. voice lines on Arena, too. <laughs> and a oh, harmonize. Harmonize. I have this Hello. Mat. It's so gorgeous. It's really good. It's so good. Just draw three cards in Just green. Just draw three cards. Draw three cards. All right. All right. You have a one in six chance of getting this question correct. <laughs> it's a geographical question. Which is the smallest continent? Oh. Oh, I thought you were going to tell us the continents. Maria. I thought you were going to say all the continents. No, you should know all the continents. Um, well, okay, let's list them. <laughs> no, you have to name the smallest one. <laughs> Three seconds. Uh, is the North Pole, like that area, no, a continent? No, incorrect. What, what continent is that? Megan. Australia. Australia is but the what, correct answer. And what am I thinking well, of? I'm <laughs> what am I thinking of? The North Pole is uh, part of both Asia and North America. There's That's no, cheating. There's no land mass up it's, there. There's it's not a bunch how? of islands. There's a pole. <laughs> right, but it's like a bunch of islands. A pole isn't like a. It doesn't have to be a physical. But you've got to put it in something. <laughs> Maria, do you think that the North Pole is just like a pole in the? I mean, there might actually the be a pole the there. Because I've seen foot pictures of people at it. Oh my god. Yeah, what's uh, his they, name? They take there. their own there and they put it in. No, yeah. it's always there. Oh no. my god. Don't even, teacher. I. You don't know that for sure. <laughs> Yeah, because it was, uh, oh. what's his name? The bird? Birdman? Nope. I don't know. Devastating Mastery. Nice. Ooh. And another negate. All right, we've almost got our, we've got two more. And a foil twin scroll shot. For our playset of these sweet negates. Yeah. Nice. All right. Pangea. All right. <clears throat> this is a miscellany question. Ooh. In regards to computers, what does the abbreviation CPU stand for? <laughs> Maria. Computer processing unit? Incorrect. <laughs> That's what I was gonna guess! <laughs> I actually don't oh, now, know. Uh, now I have to guess. Do you wanna take, you can, uh, you can pass. Should I will, uh, nope, I'm gonna make a guess. Okay. Um, computer power unit. <laughs> No, we were, we were looking for central processing unit. Oh, Maria was well, closest. Was closer. <laughs> Maria was central, closest. Central, huh? <laughs> well. Um, oh, wow, all right. <laughs> central processing unit. When we yep. were in sixth grade, nobody would have known that. Today, sixth graders probably, probably do. Know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, which is a close relative of the yak? <laughs> a cow, a horse, or a buffalo? Uh, that would be Maria. Um, closest to the egg, a cow. Incorrect. Whatever! Megan? A buffalo! A buffalo! They're so much closer to a cow. What? <laughs> Maria, you can't stick it out with any authority. <laughs> it's not true. Have it's you not seen it? I suppose I do look more like a buffalo, <laughs> now that I think about it. I'm th I was thinking of those Scottish cows that look like yaks, you know? Those Highland cows. Oh, okay. You know what I'm talking about. I sure. don't. They have very furry cows. They're very like long haired. They're luscious. They're very long cute. Haired. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is the most fun that I've had during a box <laughs> opening, and that's this really a, saying something. This is a the great idea. Oh, hall monitor. Ooh, okay. pestle and cauldron. And duress. Duress. That's the one I use on Arena. That art. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's Why beauty. Would you not? You got to use it. Yeah. Great. How many packs we got left, even? I know. Uh, about, we're about halfway through, so I've, oh, okay. sw I've switched uh, decks. Ooh. Okay, okay. All right, 
Uh, this is a geography question. Okay. To what country do the islands of Sicily and Capri? Uh, Megan. Italy. Italy is right. <laughs> Get that boot, though. <laughs> I've never been to Italy. Neither have I. Wouldn't it be so great? Yes. yes. Oh man, I had a professor at UT who taught um, like classical Roman architecture. Nice. Great class. And she was like, she was so nerdy about it, as you obviously would be. Oh yeah. She also looked like she could be like the female co-lead in an Indiana Jones film. Wow. She was like tall and very gorgeous. Um, and anyways, she would say stuff like, the, the marble from what like this area of northern Italy is gorgeous. It's so translucent you want to lick it. What? I've never felt like I wanted to lick marble. Uh, but maybe you just haven't That's seen not... this marble. <laughs> yeah, you should from look at more marble. Marble's very lickable. Oh, Nicholas! <laughs> what? You heard it here. Marble's very lickable. Very lickable marble. <laughs> Fracture. Ooh, oh, she's... Morehold excavation. <gasps> a wow. full art Belladros Wither Bloom. Look at that. I've never Gorgeous. seen that card either. Me That's neither. great. Really great. And a snake skin veil to go with it. Protect your Belladros. Oh, it's this so, so cool. cool. Also, Belladros, like, I'm sure that the artist did this on purpose, like, looks kind of like trees growing up out of the swamp. Nice. Like, really, really cool art. If you haven't looked at this one, you should wow. look at it. Very cool. Well, I mean, like, Velomachus is getting all the glory now, but, like, let's get these other draggies in here, you know? Yeah, man. Into these formats. Why not? <laughs> oh, all right. Hit all right. <clears throat> We're going to uh, English. English question. What homonym pair completes this sentence? <gasps> Blank the closet door after <laughs> Maria. <laughs> okay, it's close and close. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but I don't know what the sentence was going to say. <laughs> Remember to close the closet door after you put, you put your clothes, clothes in after, it? after hanging up your blank. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a good question. Good job, sixth graders. Good job, Brain Quest. Clothes and clothes. Do you feel? I feel like I say those two words differently. You you just did, yeah. Yeah. Look, we got Paulo. But Elite maybe that's really spell nice. Spell Ooh, that putrefy. And oh. the least foil card you'd ever want, star Dark pupil. pupil. <laughs> Maybe I'm only saying it differently because, like, we're thinking about it. Clothes. Clothes. I definitely say the TH. Do you? Yes. I think now you do, Now that I too. think about it, like, I think every time that I've ever said clothes in my life, I say clothes. 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 Like how you say vehicle. Oh, there's an H in it! What about uh, those spices you put on food? Which ones? Pepper? Or there's just also... Generally. Just to be oh, fair... herbs. <laughs> there's also an H in Megan, and I don't pronounce that... <laughs> And that's on you. Meghan. <laughs> Meghan. No, if you all say it like that, I will stop being your friend. <laughs> all right. History and civics. About how long did the Middle Ages last in Europe? 200, 500, or 1,000 years? Maria. Let's go with a hot thousand. It is a hot thousand. Wow. Yeah. I would not have gone with a thousand. Wow. I was, I was thinking literally two. I was like, I don't 200. know, 200? I mean, I guess those were a tough thousand years. It was a real rough it was, thousand. It was, a, it was a hard couple of days. One of my favorite books I've read was about if you were a time... I can't remember the title. Time Traveler in the Middle Ages or something like that. Um, a Kid in King Arthur's Court. No. <laughs> and it was just like if you would literally time traveled, what would you see? Verdant masteries are rare and divine gambit looking beautiful. I don't believe that they had those cards printed yet in the Middle Ages. <laughs> divine yeah, you gambit. wouldn't see those cards. No, you wouldn't see those cards. But like it was, it was so, it was, it was such a good book. I'll try and link the link it in the comments. But it was so yeah. interesting to me. I learned stuff like. Um, for the fact that there's no maps. Maps just did not exist. Like, there's Great. maybe one map in one church somewhere. And so, basically, if you wanted to go anywhere, you had to ask people. Have you seen the one map at the one church, man? And it was wrong, I'm sure. So, like, <laughs> if you had to be like, well, I'm going to go to London, and they're like, okay. And you're like, geez, I wonder how that works. They're like, okay, go down the road and make two lefts. <laughs> and then, like, once you've made two lefts, you're probably going to have to ask somebody again, because that's as far as I remember. Great. And people put you up in their houses just randomly if you're a traveler because yeah. it's a Christian thing to do, you know? And so, like, you could just be like, knock, knock, hello, can I stay with you? And they'd be like, like sure. I guess I have to. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Love it. Anyway. All right, a miscellaneous question for our friends. Name the types of bread. <laughs> Roti. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead, R- Maria. Rye. Rye is a type of bread, <laughs> however, it is not in the list that I'm about to read. <laughs> All right, Megan, here you go. The question. <laughs> uh, name the types of bread. Ro- also, Maria, did you did you think that's an exhaustive list of bread? <laughs> like, is it just that? <laughs> name the types of bread. Rye. 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 <laughs> that's it. That's the only bread she knows about. All right. <clears throat> roti, panini, falafel, focaccia. Um, roti and focaccia. I'm sorry, no, panini is also a type of bread. What? It's a type of it sandwich. Is. That's is a, a gotcha journalism if I ever saw it. Gotcha journalism. I did not come here to get got by a question about paninis. <laughs> yeah, I, I had no idea about that. <laughs> All right, Jeez. well, uh, I don't, Whew. as much as I hate to have a question that also might not be answered following a question that wasn't answered, oh, no. but What's we'll try it? this one. How many pounds are in three tons? <laughs> Yeah, I thought maybe that was... Uh, Megan? 30,000. No, that's incorrect. Maria? 3,000. No, we're looking for 6,000. Oh, oh, so a ton 6, is... 6,000. Is 2,000 2,000 pounds, pounds is a ton? Yep. Oh, Why wouldn't they stop it at 1,000? I learned. The, right, like, that's... It doesn't make any sense to me. Another piece of... <laughs> think, think about it, whoever made that decision. All right, we'll, we'll do one that's definitely able to be answered here. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, this is a miscellaneous question about literature. Was Maid Marian the companion of <laughs> Robin Megan? Hood? Robin Hood is correct. <laughs> I was going to say Robin Hood or Robin Hood or King Arthur. Oh, oh, King Arthur. Oh, that's a fine question. That's a fine, that's question. A fine I'll, question. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, remember when Robin Hood was a little fox man? Oh. Yeah. I mean, what do you think I was envisioning as I answered that question? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's fair. <laughs> Great. Great. Uh, silver quill silencer and shock. shock. Beautiful. Love this shock. Best shock. Great. Great. Okay, teacher. All right. Um, I don't like this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Wow. Uh, this is a science question. What do you call a beam of light so powerful that it can cut... Maria? Laser. A laser is right. Or more specifically, a laser is what's written on the answer side of this card. Wow. Wait, what is the, what? what's the question? What's the question? What do you call a beam of light so powerful that it can cut through metal? Oh, and then the answer is the acronym is laser, but I don't know what the full name is. Oh. Light amplified by stimulated emission of radiation. Oh, oh there you go. look, I cracked a bookworm. Nice. Can't lose this draft. The biblioplex is the rare and stone rain. Boo. Just for just for cube April. I had someone this. I had someone play a stone rain against me in draft, and I was like, why? Because you're just like, who cares? I literally did not matter and they lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the deal with stone yep. rain. <laughs> All right, here we go. English question. Does the uh, what are the last two letters in the word for a member of the Senate? <laughs> Megan. O R. O R is correct. <laughs> the clue could also be called. Would also be what do you call an operator? <laughs> what do you call an operator? I mean, operator? If, you, if you're out of time. <laughs> Wait. What do you, the question is, what do you call an operating room if you're out of time? Uh, oh, out of time. <laughs> Or the question could be, what word do you use if you're trying to decide between two things? <laughs> or <laughs> so what do you call stop. a mineral that's mined in northern Minnesota? <laughs> wow. Wait, Maria, or is not a mineral. Whatever. Or is the vein of the thing. Whatever. What do you say? What is it called when you mine it? Uh, what do you what would you refer you're, to it as? You're mining. Would, like a resource? Or. Yeah. Uh, uh but what is its category? <laughs> what are we saying? I don't understand the question. You know, it's like... Here's Lorehold Command and another cult of Oh, okay. Lorehold Command. Nice. Like, it's in a, it's in a, it's in a group of minerals, you know? Or is it a group of rocks? It's like a vein. Like a... A group of veins. Yeah. Or, or is, like, the vein of the thing that you're mining yeah, in the but, surrounding rock. But what do you... What is it, though, you know? We in its classification. <laughs> okay, okay, next question. question. We know what you're asking us. <laughs> All right. Stop it, both of you. Stop it. 
I demand Ooh. your attention for I am the teacher. Okay. Uh, geography. Find the misfit. San Diego. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> wow. Do you know what? Just for that, I get like... <laughs> I don't get to answer this question, although I do all have to live with that sick burn. You do. You have to live with it. Wow. All right, Megan, find the misfit. San Diego, Utah, Seattle, Albuquerque. Definitely Utah. Utah. In more ways than one. <laughs> wow. The sick birds don't stop coming during this at box opening. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh great! Utah yeah. is so beautiful. It's, I will. I will say I that. I will say it's gorgeous. It is very, very. Pretty. It's so cool. Ooh. Spirit yeah. summoning. There's another, another excavation, excavation. Transformation. Ooh, dream strix. Oh, Love yes. Dream strix. Eliminate. Oh! <gasps> oh, I thought it was gonna be Liliana again. Yeah. No, just Professor. It's Jordan. it spooked me. Yeah. It spooked me. I thought it was going to be Professor Onyx. (laughs) Uh, History and civics. Put in chronological order. (gasps) Reformation, Middle Ages, Renaissance. Oh, Okay, Middle Ages, Renaissance, Reformation. That is correct. (laughs) Very good. That is very tough for a sixth grader, I would think. I would be like, what's the Reformation? (laughs) That's some pretty intense stuff. But I wasn't, uh, you know... A very good Luther. <laughs> Ooh, intro to uh, annihilation, academic dispute, maelstrom muse. Oh, we have Kian. How do you say this? Um, Kian. Kian. Kiani. Kian. Dean of Substance. And Gift of Estates, which nice. is one of my favorite mystical archive arts. Oh, it's gorgeous. Unfortunately, I never want to cast it. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, this question, uh, courtesy of one of my favorite writers, or at least feels like he would probably write it. Uh, Fix this sentence. Her Halloween costume is very unique. Fix it? Her Halloween costume is is very very unique. unique. Megan? Capitalize the H in Halloween. Um, Actually, it is already capitalized. Oh, good call, good call. (laughs) Um... Wow, I don't know what's wrong with it. Ah. Oh, okay. Maria. Take out the comma. (laughs) Great answer. (laughs) No. No, we're going to remove the word very. Unique already means one of a kind. We talked about this. We literally talked about this. this. I was talking about this on the And I was thinking of it. So was I. like, take out very, but I was like, that's that's not the answer. Oh, my God. Wow. No. I really like to remove the comma, though. (laughs) Remove the comma is also really good. Where would they have put it? After very. Comma is oh, very yeah, unique. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's where it would have happened. All right, this is a question for both of you, okay. because I think you both have a shot at this. Oh, History man. and civics, did Shakespeare live from 1750 to 1810, or from 1564... <laughs> the other one! From 1564... <laughs> To the late 1500s. <laughs> uh, that's not quite right, but I'll give it to you 15, anyway. Uh, 1616. Oh, 1616. Oh, I was going to say 16, early 16. 1600s, but yeah. I was like, I don't remember actually how, how old he lived to be. 40 something? Well, 30 something? As soon as he said, or the answer was the other one. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. other one. The other, the other one. one. Whatever that one is. 17. Can you imagine if it was the 1700s? Jeez, no. Louise. <laughs> Would have been very different. Very would different. Be very different. Yeah. <sighs> Dina, I love, I love this card. Dina. Expressive. Also. Oh, there we historic go. Historic staple. Get in the deck. Ooh, Retriever Phoenix. I've drafted a lot of these. I love that card. And another Whirlwind Denial. And another Dina. Foil Dina. Sweet. I saw, I've seen a couple of shows at the Globe, and there's always the problem of airplanes flying over. Not at all. <laughs> what it would have been like at the time. Because they try and recreate it. It's not like they don't have sets, they don't have costumes, whatever. And so you're like, this is like what it would have been like. And then... You're like, never mind. (laughs) And the actors just kind of stop and they're like, oh, bye. And then wait until start up again until the plane's gone. (laughs) In order to be truly accurate, they'd have to like stop and like look up and be like, what the (laughs) My God, (laughs) what is that rot? Yeah. (laughs) All right, an English question for you both. Okay. (sighs) Ma'am is a contraction of what word? 
Maria. Madam. Madam. Wow, I never think about that actually. Yeah. No. Why would you? Madam. Yes, madam. Excuse me, madam. Madam. I know the South says ma'am a lot. Yeah, we so do. like think about madam. What about that? Be like, hey Matt, excuse me, madam. <laughs> would you be like <laughs> Excuse me, madam? Mm, ooh, another bookworm. Uh, ooh, mortality I love mortality spear. spear. A free uh, flame painter. I actually quite like this Very card. Very good. Yeah. If you if you hit someone with it once, they're GG. Your opponent's dead. And claim the firstborn is our um, mystical archive, which is just the funniest baby in a golden circle. <laughs> yeah, it's very very strange. <laughs> Great. Ooh, all right. All Let's right. Let's go. <clears throat> what is the term for the name of a person who draws an exaggerated picture? <laughs> Maria. Caricaturist. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> well, I was like, I was like, okay, I hope this is right. <laughs> I was like, I do not know where this question is going. Well, that's because I rephrased it to make it a little oh, harder. Uh, thank you. Slash, I don't know what are why are you doing that. <laughs> I like it. Uh, major mascot interception. Never played that card. No. Love Killian. Trudge. Ooh. Body Ooh. of research. This is the one that makes it like a twenty twenty or whatever. Yeah, man. Then we have a defiant fractal, strike, baby. and then a foil eager first year Sick. to go with our foil star pupil, <laughs> which we're both trying to be in this yeah, game. We really are. All right, uh, <sighs> here we go. Science question. Yeah. Before dividing, does a cell copy its nucleus or its chromosomes? <laughs> Megan. It's nucleus. No, I'm sorry. Ah. Incorrect, Maria. I think I'm. Uh, hear me out here. The chromosome. Ah. <laughs> Chromosomes is correct. I was like, yeah, I remember it. Like, obviously, it replicates the DNA, but I was like, does it make the whole other nucleus before it splits? Nope. The answer obviously is no. Is no. <clears throat> wow, it's so hot in here. I'm sticking to these packs. Yeah, it's very. Sorry, warm everybody in here. had to know that. <laughs> Leyline Invocation, A+, plus. Vortex Runner, Heated Debate, it's a pretty good pack. Mm -hmm. Reconstruct History, oh, another Quintorius! Rushed Rebirth is and the rare. another claim the firstborn! Wow, we there are claiming. We are claiming over yeah, here. Yeah, man. Give us your firstborn in exchange <sighs> for, what would she get? The ability to spin straw into gold? What a deal. Yeah. I'd take I it. I don't think that she even got to do it. He just came and did it for her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's so, like, right. you do get the free labor. <laughs> no. I would be like, make me a thousand million gold things. Then I guess you can have my child. I guess. I mean, I guess. Whatever you're going to okay. do. Eat it. All right. Whoa. Find the misfit. So she's, he's going to raise it to the next. Megan. <laughs> Rumple still skin. <laughs> oh. Do you know what? That works with what I was currently in the middle of saying. That's fair, yeah. Hit me with the question. Find the misfit. Andy's. Alps, Antilles, Appalachians. Wait, say that one more time? Sure. The Andes, yeah. the Alps, yeah. the Antilles, the Appalachians. The Antilles. The Maria? Appalachians. No, it's not the Appalachians. <laughs> Wait, is it Wait. the Alps? Like, the Where? Andes? Megan, They're all mountains. Megan, if you'd like to answer the question, you need to buzz in first. <laughs> Megan. The Antilles. The Antilles is correct. <laughs> it was. I got it right. I was like, <laughs> got to buzz in. You got. There are rules to this game. Oh, fine. Oh, it's because she didn't buzz. Oh. Yeah. Yikes. We got okay. a stri okay. real strickler in sixth grade yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nicholas, did you ever consider becoming a teacher? Uh, nope. <laughs> what is there a? Why is there a rare in the middle of this pack? Well, well, really, look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just nine? Uncovered. Wow. Secret rare. That's so, or is it just in the wrong spot? No, no. there's another one. What is this pack? What? What is this pack? Is that this, is so wild. I was going to be like, <gasps> and we have a time, time warp. warp. And we have a foil. We just had two, like, do you remember what? when there was a random extra rare in our pack? What is going on here? That was very cool. This is not normal, right? No, Sick. it was literally just partway into the pack. This is like when you crack an egg and there's two yolks. Except way better. <laughs> <laughs> and what a, what a sweet pack, too. Very oh. sweet pack. Wow. Time warp. 
Oh, All right. Love it. Two rares, a mythic and a foil. <laughs> Best random pack I've ever seen other than the time I opened two planeswalkers, but Ooh. that was many All years right, ago. I'm going to be what? a stickler for pronunciation on the answer oh, to this question. Okay. Pronunciation. What is the French word for a pastry made in the shape of a crescent moon? <laughs> Megan. A croissant. <laughs> Maria. A croissant. There it is. <laughs> I love the roll card. <laughs> I was like, how can I make this sound the most ridiculous? Croissant. A croissant. Oh my god, so good. <laughs> that was the best part of being in France was asking for a croissant bell and feeling oh. like I was very cool. Mm -hmm. Sparring regimen and adventurous impulse makes this pack nice. seem like a real hot garbage compared to that last one you just saw. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have four packs remaining. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. If you're a rookie for the New York Yankees, are you a first or second? First. That uh, actually, we're looking for you play for the worst team in baseball. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you are a first year player. That's right. You are a player for the worst team in baseball. Correct. Right. Thank you. That's what I'm looking yeah. for. Yes. I used to collect baseball cards, shocking no one, becoming a Magic the Gathering player. Oh, yeah. man. And hockey cards. I have I have a big collection in my like old kids room. I think. Oh. Wow, hockey cards, all right. Yeah. Ooh, college majors again. Because where I grew up, hockey was the name of the game. That was the deal in my town. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oof. Zamone. Zamone. Block out the sky. Tell name me about. a card that doesn't exist, because I've never <gasps> seen it up until this point. Oh my gosh, I've only had people cast it against me, and then like when I was winning, now they win. It's so good. It you just make a good. million two one flyers. Yeah. The only way it doesn't win you the game is if you were dead, like from their next, your opponent's next yeah. attack, attack step. Ooh, another option. They come in tapped. Gorgeous. Yeah. Great. This, right. this question, I'm trying to see if I can find out what year this was made because this question is hilarious. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. This is in the history and civics category. Okay. Okay. You can make voice calls over the internet with different applications. True or false? <laughs> Megan. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, it's true or false? I didn't even hear the first. <laughs> That's oh, what year no. was this made? True or false? Voice calls over the internet. You could make voice calls over the internet. Like, am I wrong? Like in the nineties? Could you? I don't. Th I don't know if you could in the nineties, but by the two thousands. I want to know when. You Skype. Like, I thought the answer was going to be Skype. Because you couldn't do it in AOL. With the following <laughs> application. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, I, I'm actually quite curious about that. <sighs> oh, the early days of the internet were some of the most exciting days of my life. Legit. Like, I was, I remember the first time I signed like, on. Like, oh, these questions. multiple choice. Yeah, there we go. Village rides. And it was like, wait. This is all happening in real time. Like, these yeah, people man. are actually talking right now. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. It's a wild thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Number one way to flirt in college. <laughs> I am. I am someone on AOL. Yeah, Big that's time. true. What was, Anyways. what was everyone's AOL instant messenger name? <laughs> oh, God. Mine's I don't a, remember. Mine's this whole Aww. story. All right. Mine's the great Gons because Gonzo was too many letters. Oh, yeah. And I got a lot of people messaging me that I didn't want because of that name. <laughs> yeah, sure. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, we're, gonna eat, we're going back to homonyms here. <laughs> Use a pair of homonyms to answer this riddle. What do you call a precious caribou? <laughs> what? A precious caribou? A precious... Uh, oh, oh, my God. A Maria? deer, deer. A deer, deer. I was thinking like a, a, a Hulk elk. I was like an elk elk. <laughs> A, a goose moose? <laughs> goose moose. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a deer deer? Yeah, that's pretty cute. No idea. Oh, draconic inter intervention. Yeah. And thrill possibility. And your third bookworm. <laughs> you guys, I'm doing so good at my draft. I got three bookworms. If we were doing half box deal with this, I would be yeah, in did so much it's trouble. Over. <laughs> All right, your final question. One pack remaining. Oh. Is an English question. Okay. Is cute as a button an example of hyperbole or simile? simile. Megan. Simile is correct, though. Woo! Possibly hyperbole, depending <laughs> on what you're talking yeah, that's about. True. Oh. That's true. Look at this 
an elk. It's cute as a button. What the fuck is it, though? Yes, it is. <laughs> but the, in this situation, the elk is very ugly. Yeah. What? Blobfish. Is blobfish <laughs> cute as a button? <laughs> no. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Great. Similes use like or as. Fun fact. <laughs> Thank you for that. Ooh, brain scroll, celebrant, rumble, and silence. Ooh, and an Inquisition of Kozilek. Nice. Good one to end on. Wow. Fun fact about nice. Inquisition of Kozilek. Of all the mystical archives run at um, the Strixhaven Championship, uh-huh. this one had the lowest win rate of the top five oh. or something like that. Interesting. Guess which one had the highest win rate associated with we it? We will not. It's Mystics Mastery. <laughs> <laughs> Fun facts. Well, there you go. That's our box opening. Woo! What a good time. <laughs> that was so fun. Thank you to Thank you so much, Nicholas. Mr. Nicholas. Thank you, Thanks Mr. for Nicholas. having me. Um, and to, thank you so much to our sponsor, Card, Card Kingdom, Kingdom, for making this possible. Yeah, check us out at cardkingdom.com slash GLHF. Say good luck, high five. They'll give you a free token or a sticker in your order, and they'll get you your order as fast as a button. Yeah. <laughs> Simile. <laughs> 